So I'm going to go ahead and attempt to bring out my inner angry Joe. You done fucked up. Now, recently YouTube came out with a video that they personally removed the comments from because that's how much confidence they have in this new program that they're instilling in this website. And there is a huge ratio of dislikes with this new video. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm not going to explain it. The link is in the description below. Watch it. Go ahead. I'll wait right now. I'll just, I'll wait, I'll wait. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. Or you watched it right now. That shit's bullshit, isn't it? It's fucking horse shit. That is just dumb. And I, the, the thing I can't, re like, all of it is dumb, right? But the thing I can't really wrap my mind around is how YouTube is actually promoting this. If you saw the video, it is like a bleak, black and white, crimson looking video that is filmed in Annihilation Land where everything is decayed and died. It is a very colorless and bleak looking world that this new program lives in. It is so baffling. Like, does anyone have an art direction on YouTube, really? Like, this is a channel, this is a, this is a website dedicated to the most creative people on the internet, and yet we have this terribly bleak and, and just dull and shitty looking video telling you that you have the power and that you are a hero for just shitting on people's creations and such. Now, to be more rational about what has happened, YouTube is trying to instill this thing where they reward people for, well, doing a, a multitude of things. It's not just the, the part where they flag, where they can mass flag for points like a little video game, but they can also subtitle shit and that's really cool subtitling is actually very helpful there are people who have trouble hearing uh they're just straight up deaf and they can't even enjoy the content on youtube and it, it is great that the community does that for free and how awesome is that? that that's just great but then there's the part where you are rewarded for just flagging content the rules say that you only get points if you flag a con if you flag a video appropriately let's face it they don't really care they're probably not gonna care if the if you look at any of leafy's videos or any of idub's videos i don't care what you think of any of them i don't i don't care what you think of them but they are in a sense under the category of bullying and harassment and anybody who has ever done any videos kind of like that then they are fucked they are basically fucked because anybody can flag them and they are kind of appropriate with their flagging. And that's just the way it is. So a lot of people on this site who have just juiced out the whole drama thing that's been going on for the past year or so, they are now really fucked. <laughs> and it's just, it's just good lord. The thing I love about this the most is just, well, two things really. Number one, I love how they just gloss over the fact that you can just flag content for points. It's like, oh, you see, you can flag content for points. But look at this, you could also do the share your knowledge thing with others, which I don't know what that means. And the second thing that I absolutely adore about this is how they call you heroes for doing that. Like, why? I don't like, I've never actually seen any website do this before where they reward you for flagging people. And maybe there are, maybe there definitely are websites or video game sites or video game MMOs, whatever, that reward you for reporting harassment and, and stuff like that. But, but this is, this is out of control. It, 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 I'm not making much sense, aren't I? Just essentially you are being rewarded like a kid to go out your way and give people flags on their videos because there's a little bit of nudity or maybe there's a little bit of harassment like it's kind of vague as to what is appropriate flagging because let's face it who's gonna check all the flags that are being submitted daily by the heroes it's obviously gonna go through a bot and let's face it this whole hero program the point of it is so YouTube doesn't have to give people jobs. Oh, you really like flagging people? Here are some really stupid points. We can give you uh, previews on our upcoming stuff, but we won't pay you. 
In fact, we don't want to pay you because we're kind of evil geniuses. We're feeding you points, you know, invisible points that really give you meaningless shit. Probably even more meaningless than Reddit, but hey, you're getting points, so it makes you feel real cool, doesn't it? Yeah, we don't have to do shit. You could do it for us, and if it gets inappropriately flagged, then oh well, that's not our fault. It's your fault. You're the heroes. No, 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 you're not. <laughs> this is so fucking shit. I just don't get it. I just don't get what the benefits are like. I. Everything is so weird. <laughs> Like, you could talk to people in hero video chats, like, about what? If these people aren't making content, it, like, I get the YouTube Academy thing. I really do get it. Like, it, it, it kind of is very helpful. You can meet other creators. You could talk about stuff. You could, like, give advice to young creators and stuff. Like, I get the YouTube Academy because a lot of people just don't understand how to get popular. I don't understand how to get popular. It was just a fluke, to be honest, that I got 6,000 subscribers. But <laughs> the fact is... This shit right here, it, it, it makes no sense. It, it's like you want to build a community of flaggers? What the fuck will they talk about? Hey, dude, did you flag the newest PewDiePie video? I had a butt in it. It's not very inappropriate. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm getting lightheaded. Oh, boy. But this is not good. That mass flagging thing is so just it is oh no that is so stupid why would they even call it that why would they even call it mass flag videos those are two hot words right there mixed together to make a lava flow of a sentence i don't know what the fuck i'm saying but mass flag videos why don't you just call it something shitty just like the other things that you've been calling you've been calling us heroes how about you just call it the hero assessment shit the x-ray vision mass flagger <laughs> it's, it's just well i guess if you want to be upfront about it go ahead then all right but it's just that's stupid so you could you could get rid of uh comments i guess uh, which is really fine honestly like you know there's a lot of small youtube channels and even big ones actually even big ones where there are a lot of and I mean a lot of comments that are just either people who are advertising themselves for their own videos or just straight up people going like, you're a faggot. You're some sort of faggot. You know, like it's terrible, terrible comments. And I could see why you would want to get rid of them. Sure, absolutely. But, <laughs> oh, everything else is so bad. I guess you could say that I'm a little jealous, <laughs> maybe, but it seems like YouTube is treating these heroes fucking huge quotation marks on the hero part uh like like better than youtube content creators it just it, that's how i feel like like these guys are getting all these awesome perks and what the fuck do people like pewdiepie or like i don't know anybody else who has like a hundred thousand subscribers what the hell did they get they get a button they get a fucking button wow incredible these guys are getting even more perks they actually have a community youtube is somewhat of an ephemeral community mixed up of people who are just thrown into the mix you know it's just like a bunch of fucking cats inside of the same box and they just like if they fight and they kill each other who cares that's just youtube whereas this hero program is just you know just it, it they're being treated like they're worth more of a shit than the content creators that's just the way I feel like these guys, they're getting fucking, they can talk to people directly to YouTube, which 80%, if not 95% of the fucking YouTube fan base or the YouTube community can't even contact. They get sneak peeks into shit that half of us will never see in our lives. They, they get a whole video chat with other heroes. I can't even get in contact with people who are 10,000 subscribers or 20,000 subscribers. Trust me, I would love to be friends with some of the people around me, but let's face it, I'm just super insignificant compared to people who have 200,000 or a million subscribers. I don't have a community. It's only until I reach that point where I have a community, you know, and yet us little guys are being treated like shit and this thing is not helping at all. Not helping. 
wow, I am getting red hot on this, but like, that's all I have to say. I needed to lay off some steam, and you know what? I'm probably overreacting. In fact, I know that I'm overreacting. This is probably nothing at all, just like the last time. You know how everyone was really complaining about demonetizations? Well, you know, that wasn't really a thing either. It's not really that okay. I mean, it's a shitty thing, just like how this is a shitty thing, but I, I bet it's not going to be that much of a thing in like a week, maybe. I don't know. But if it is a terrible, terrible thing, wow, this is, we're fucked. We are fucked. So thank you all so very much for watching. I love you all so very much. I will see you next time. Oh, shit. Wow. Love y'all. Bye.